Hi, we are back with another gaming laptop review. Yes, today we will be reviewing the ASUS Tough A16, the Advantage Edition. Yes, this is Advantage Edition, so have some features extra from the other ones. Uh, like the graphics card is RGB, plus it has Ryzen 7, 7 series. If I will go into the more configuration first place, talk about the uh, body and the build of this laptop. So this laptop has plastic palm rest and plastic mousepad and it has plastic bezel as well as plastic uh, on the back side but on the top cover it has aluminium which is nice and strong as you can see this one is aluminium and has badging over here for the tough and this laptop does not have rgb keyboard but it looks good with the white uh, keyboard light even it is very good looking nice big buttons very easy to play game like this and has some shortcut keys as well volume buttons mute button and the armory cat shortcut key if i will press this you can see it runs the command center of asus which is the armory crate and it shows the gpu performance cpu performance the temperatures everything right now 49 celsius 57 celsius for the cpu and it has the presets for fan and the cpu gpu performance levels if you will select any one of these then it will automatically change the performance according to these because if you want silent mode then you can press this it will not make the sound of the fans and then performance and then turbo so these are for gaming and these ones are for uh, this one is for office usage or maybe you are watching any movie at the night with the headphones and you don't want to disturb anyone else in the room you can use this silent mode plus windows if you have any settings saved in the windows you can select this one and as i told you this does not have rgb uh, lighting so it will not have the other option for lighting uh, changing colors in the software let's move on to other features of this laptop this laptop has a ryzen 7 7000 series which is very nice and strong processor 7735hs this one is 2024 model so it is like equivalent to uh, you can call it like uh, 13 generation or 14 generation laptops and this one has 5600 megahertz of ddr5 ram for the memory and this uh, is the memory for the gpu which is the dedicated one 8 gb massive uh, dedicated gpu it has so other than that we can talk about the fan grills one two three four grills it has as they uh, right over here as well 84 played arc flow fans and four exhaust fans so one two three four four fan grills plus it has mm, 84 blade arc flow fans very nice one and then 100 watt type c charging and high performance gdr5 amps and then 165 this screen is 165 hertz very 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 nice one very smooth and it is uh, like a square and the screen to screen the screen the screen to body ratio is very thin as you can see over here so the screen is just the size of the body 20 percent and it has mux switch dgpu and igpu it shifts itself if it detects any software that uh, you know requires the dedicated video to be kicked in 
so it will switch automatically to the dedicated one otherwise it runs over the integrated gpu the igpu or apu which is the processor graphics card which saves a lot of battery performance the power so let's move on to other uh, features of this laptop let's talk about the ports that it has on the left side we have a sound jack for mic and the headset and then we have usb 3.0 and 2c type uh, ports and then hdmi and then we have the lan port and then charging port and on the right side we have one 3.0 usb port and there is no any uh, port on the back side and what else do we have it has a very nice uh, sound from the dolby plus the wi-fi 6 for any gaming uh, platform very nice to connect like for example the steam and the epic games you can connect easily and play online and then amd radeon as i told you before the graph is dedicated video memory so let's move on to the graphics card performance of this laptop um, the benchmark test let's do it and see how much fps we will get and this is right now the radeon graphics card so we will check which graphics card is equivalent with the performance in the nvidia side of the graphics okay let's run the benchmark test which is the four mark right now with us so it shifted itself from apu to gpu and gave the notification which is very nice it detected the graphics required software we will run the benchmark so this is the benchmark running right now it is giving 140s fps and this is the temperature area right now the fans are very silent but i think as the graphics heat will go up the fans speed will increase and the sound you will be able to listen I hope you can listen to the fan speed sound because they are now hyper active 80 celsius and they are now stable on the 80 celsius very nice and stable graphics card and according to the points this uh, graphics card we can compare with the 3070 a notebook graphics card which is the nvidia side rtx one and this one is same to that 3070 so this is the radeon and the graphic oh sorry the processor is equivalent to the 13th generation of the uh, intel ones i7 13th generation this Ryzen 7, 7000 series. And there are some advantages and disadvantages of both AMD and the Intel. We already have been talking about those advantages and the disadvantages. Both has the qualities and the, you know, the bad things. But uh, both are very nice and give uh, good performance. And they are very durable as well. So let's talk about the camera it has. It has a camera here with three holes for the mic and what else you will be like hoping to know about this laptop 
so let's give you some glance of this laptop how it is we will give you the zoom in video so this is the led lights for the ssd and the power and the charging and the airplane mode and then the grill for the fan and this is the power button and the mouse page the best thing about this laptop although this laptop is a gaming laptop but it's still it is not so very heavy it looks very very nice this is the back side of this laptop a lot of grills the speakers sound quality is very nice okay i hope this video will help those who wants to know about this laptop before buying this one so in my opinion this laptop is up to the mark for the year model 2024 and the graphics card is also very nice and strong so if you want to buy uh same laptop and you are looking in the market go for it there is no any like bad thing is uh so many laptops used to have this laptop is like flawless no any bad looking bad looking any you know edge or awkward um uh, coloring it is very sober and practical laptop thank you for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe mm -hmm. to our channel because your subscriptions and the likes are the ones that give me motivation to make videos in the future thank you for watching again bye bye